What up, Dope Hunters? What up, Dope Hunters? What up, Sinners? Welcome back to Deuteronomy for another video on Dragon. Whoa. What up, Sinners? Welcome back to Deuteronomy for the very first video on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Or, as it's also known as, Nanatsu no Taiza Hikari Toyomi no Grand Cross. That's my Japanese for the day. Anyway, welcome to the channel. This is a brand new chapter in the story of Toon Rami. I have been a big fan of Seven Deadly Sins ever since I started watching it. Started playing the game when it released on Global. Been doing a couple streams here and there, but I wanted to start branching out into summoning videos, at least. As far as future content, we're going to see and kind of test the waters with these summoning videos and see how people receive them. But for those of you who are new to the channel and are unfamiliar with what I do, um, when it comes to summoning, I tend to be a little bit more animated than the the casual player. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> it's rewind time. If you've watched my Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle videos, then you know that I'm a little insane. But why would you want to watch this channel when it comes to summonings? Well, aside from the craziness, here is my one and only qualification. I can do this. And if you couldn't already tell, I am a big Escanor fan. But more importantly, I'm a big fan of the game. So what we're going to do today is do our very first summoning on the channel, and we're going to be summoning for Gother. Now, I have done one set of summoning before, which is for the Green Merlin. I got one copy of her, but I had to spend, I think, maybe five or six multis to get her. Um, so the rest of these diamonds, I'm going to be... I don't know if I want to spend it all on Gother, because I know that there's possibly going to be a couple other big units that are going to be dropping in a couple of weeks or so. So uh, we're going to try to do maybe five multis, and if we can get Gother within the five multi window, will be fine because I think five is the number that you need in order to get the pity summon function. So let's begin, uh, but before we do, let's take a look at the rates. So I, I'm i still learning the, learning the game, so I don't know much about the ins and outs about the units, but what I do know is that Gother is ridiculous. I've already been using him from my friend units and Gother is ridiculous. He, I think he's the best unit in the game right now. And uh, so obviously getting him would be great. Looking at the rest of these, I don't think I have... I think I have a Gil Thunder. Yeah, I have a Gil Thunder. And the rest of them I don't have. Oh, I have Arthur as well. So, really, for me, since this is my first recorded summoning, there's really not going to be any sort of disappointment. But if I can get Gother, that would be great. So, without further ado, let's jump in. If we can get him within five, great. Maybe we'll do one more. I am still unfamiliar with the conditions of when it comes to summoning. For those of you who watch my Dokkan summons, you know that I just don't care. I honestly just don't care. In my personal opinion, not knowing the conditions is actually more fun because it adds more unpredictability to each multi that you do. But from what I have seen so far, I think what I just did was... Okay, it's, it's, not, the common, it's not the common animation. I'm pretty sure that... Okay, so from this, we're going to be getting five golds. One thing I don't like about that that graphic we just saw before we actually pull the units is that it kind of gives away what you're going to be getting. Uh, if you're not going to be getting a rainbow, you already know, which kind of it kind of kills the fun of the summon. But I mean, I'm still enjoying the game, so there's there's no. I, I'm not trying to say that they got to change this, but I just have to get used to that. Or maybe I'll just do a skip. I mean, skip is skipping isn't really fun for a summoning video, but that's probably the best way as far as not seeing what you're going to get before you actually pull everything. So, yeah, this, this looks like a pretty mediocre way to start. But maybe, I mean, maybe it's not too bad. We're getting a bunch of gold units. I don't have him. Slater, I think that's the first time I'm pulling Slater. And then Meliodas. Oh, this is this the free-to-play one? That's the free-to-play one. All right. So there you go. That is my first multi. I am now one away. <laughs> one away from the Pity Summon. That would actually be really cool. If I could get the Pity Summon after this, so if I don't get him here... And then the Pity Summon activates, and I get him. I'm just going to walk away. That's going to be a win for me. This is the second time we're getting this thing. So I think this is either going to be a gold or a rainbow. I would love it for it to be a rainbow. You know, beginner gains. Come on. I can say Seven Deadly Sins in Japanese pretty well. I think that, that over-qualifies me to get something good. Come on. All right, we got the gold. Better than... I do know that getting blue, when it says... Pull and it's in blue. That's 
Definitely not as good. So, oh man. All right, well, we're getting six golds here. So that means the Pity Summon is inbound. And from that Pity Summon, ooh, I'm, I'm sensing something. I'm sensing something is gonna be good. Ha! It's gonna be good. Now, another reason why I'm a very slow player when it comes to this game is because when it comes to RPGs, I just have this really bad habit of trying to do everything before the main quest line. It's a really bad habit that I'm really trying to work on. Unfortunately, I adopted that for this game just because I like it so much that I'm trying to basically do everything else and then jump into the main story. One of the main things that I've been doing is boosting everyone's super attacks when I don't even use them. Like, for example, these are units that I keep getting. Um, all of their super attacks have been maxed out, and in order to max out their super attacks, as some of you may know, their ultimate attacks, I should say, it does cost quite a bit of money, and I, <laughs> I used up, I keep using up all my money to do that. So, uh, that has actually sewed down my progress. So, next summon is a guaranteed SSR, so let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is the third multi, and here, now I can finally see what a nice animation looks like, I guess. It looked the same. The only difference that I saw was that Hawk was there. Oh! Damn! Oh, oh, oh! What's this? What's this? Oh, that was it. That's the only difference? Okay. Well, now we're gonna see the rainbow. There it is. Rainbow pull. Alright. You like to see that. You like to see that. Now, this guaranteed SSR doesn't mean featured, I don't think. I think it just means SSR of any kind. But if we can get Gother... Okay, only one rainbow. Only one rainbow. Oh, who the heck is this? Oh, Jude. Okay. Yeah, so all these guys are done. I don't even need them for their coins. Because I've already spent... I've already maxed out everyone's ultimate attack. Okay, so getting more SRs, that's fine with me. The completionist in me likes getting at least six... Actually, wait. Would you want six? Yeah, you no, you'd want seven copies to fully complete a unit. So, I'm fine with all of these. Just as long as that SSR ends up being Gother. Oh, nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Nope, still not it. I don't know how to count. I should learn how to count. Here we go, here we go. It... No. Okay, I actually don't know if I should be sad. Is she good? <laughs>
Everyone is old except for Elizabeth. All right, final multi of the video. Final multi. This is it. This is it. Whoa, what the heck? Yo. What? That's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. Oh, oh, oh. Gota. Oh! We're getting a rainbow! Here it is! Damn, that looks vicious! Okay, okay, how many rainbows are we get? Wait, what? What? Wait, I'm confused. Did I just get gypped? Alright, we got Bond. Fine, I'll take it. I do very much like the free-to-play Bond that I've been using right now. Slater. Wait, where's my... Where's my SSR? I didn't know that. Aw, that sucks. I thought that... Oh, wait! Did I just not see it? Oh, I pulled! Okay, I pulled an SSR. Helbrum. What does he do? Helbrum, 180 to all enemies, poisons for three turns. Interesting. Uh, increases attack related stats of all allies. Okay. So he's a support guy. And then uh, cancels buffs and stances. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean, I was lucky enough to pull that. But what stinks is that I think that kills the, the pity summon gauge, right? If you pull an SSR of any kind, I think that resets your, your pity summon. So that, that's, okay, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a bad way to end because it's the principle of it all. I was lucky enough to pull an SSR. I was kind of getting worried that I was going to be completely shafted on my very first summoning video. But we, well, should I do one more? I'll do one more. Okay, one more. That's it. That's it. I think I'm going to regret that though. He's holding a stick. I think that, that automatically means this is going to be a lame, a lame pull, right? If he's holding a, a freaking twig. Yeah. From what I've, from what I've seen from doing my, my daily single summons. Holding, <laughs> he always, he's always holding a, what? Rainbow pull? Some of you might be just yelling at the screen in frustration. Ah, this means this, this means that. I'm so, oh. Okay, I'm getting a rainbow. I'm getting an SSR. I'm walking away. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm walking away. If it's Gother, great. If it's not Gother, so be it. Stop laughing at me. All right, ruin. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another Simon. You're just trying to trying to build up the suspense. I get it. I get it. Here comes the gold. I'm ready to, I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. Yeah, nope, not yet, not yet. I gotta learn how to count. Here we go, here we go. Hip. No! Oh, okay, well he is one of the two headliner units. What does he do? Okay. Inflicts amplify damage. Interesting. Uh, inflicts damage equal to 170% on attack. Okay, makes them bleed. All right. And then his final attack. All right. Yeah. So he's not out of the two. He's not the one you want. But oh, that wasn't it. Oh no, that was it. But that wasn't the end of the summoning. There's still more. Okay. So in all honesty, this is my first summoning video. I don't think I should complain too much because I got three SSRs in. Six? Five? Five multis? I think six multis. That's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna take that. I got Galland, I got Gila, and I got Helbrum for my very first summoning video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you got on these summons. I'm sure 90% of you are gonna say you got Gother, otherwise you wouldn't be commenting. Because you wanna flex. I would definitely be flexing if I got him. So let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. Also, be sure to subscribe for more 7 Deadly Sins content in the future, and click that notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to sin responsibly. And get used to hearing me say that.